Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 1911 May 1 here with the Shade Tree Survivals. What you ladies and gentlemen are looking at right now is my solution to repair or modify the G-Code sock rig holster so I can freaking use it with damn light. This thing has been an all morning fight with this damn thing. And it's not absolutely finished, but I wanted to leave it like it is so you guys could see it. All right, what I use is some aluminum flashing. And I'll show you on this piece here, I've doubled the edges up. Uh, this one broke when I was messing with it, but um, doubled it up, bored the holes in it, laid it up there. That was part the first part of it. The second part of it was... Because you need a gap, a, a wider gap, I had to cut out the holes on the end of the, um, the cowling here. I had to cut them out because of the way it's shaped. You couldn't just elongate the hole. You had to actually cut out the end because it, the, the hump inside of it, it was formed to go over the little nipple that sticks up at the under the bottom here. That was the second problem I had to overcome. The third problem was you gotta you gotta move it down and what I wound up finding out is that wide that's a bit how big a gap these are two matchsticks okay I'll get the uh, camera to zoom in hopefully uh it does not look like it's focusing oh I hate this freaking camera there I think it's focused finally but anyway that's how much of a gap you needed so I was like, well, I put the metal, that'll keep it from coming off this way. But what do I got to do to keep it from going back that way? And like I said, I discovered that the width of a matchstick cut in half was what I needed. So what I did is I cut one the entire length and put up here across the top. And in between the screws and those little nipples I was talking about, I cut short ones and put there. Now this was an absolute nightmare doing both sides, but I finally got it to 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 work out right and on this side here you can see how it uh it looks from this top this side here so what that does is this is wrapped around pulling this way and it's the uh the plastic butts up against those matchsticks and because that metal's doubled it gives you strength to keep it from ripping loose but it also pushes down it's thick enough it pushes down on those matchsticks to keep them in place so they can't come out of the bottom, they can't come out of the top. Um, the other thing I discovered is there's little inserts in here that the screws go in, they get they can push out real easy. And I had a lot of trouble. I'm talking about hours of fighting with this thing. Um, I ended up, it's the third one because of various, I cut one too short, one broke, and so forth. But I finally got it, and I sort of got it contoured at the bottom. It's not beautiful, I don't give a damn. What I care about is when I go to pull it out, it comes right out, okay? You can also see a couple of times without the screws being tight, it's left some of the uh, the brass on the finish of the gun. I don't think it has scratched the finish off. I think it's just the brass. But anyway, I'll stop the camera and give you guys a shot and see what it looks like with the thigh holster. Okay, I hope the uh, noise from the uh, insects and birds and all don't bother you guys too much. I stepped outside, get the best lighting possible, but you can see the rig. I've got it, the uh, Y yoke harness, I got it in the front of this belt loop, behind this belt loop, that'll keep it centered, that'll keep it from rotating around on the leg. I got these pulled up pretty close to my crotch. Got those good and snug. There you go. I'm gonna tell you right now though, folks, I do not recommend G-Code holsters for a 1911 with a TLR light. I mean, they uh, all they would do is give me my money back on it and I need a holster for the damn light, okay? So I spent four or five hours out here this morning playing with this thing, getting it, getting it where it would work and function correctly. Now, how long is it gonna last? I don't know. Before it's over with, I may end up having to take those little pieces of matchstick out and uh, find some Kydex that is that thick and use that as a spacer. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it again today. I've aggravated with it. I'm about ready to throw it in a damn fire and burn to some bitch, to be honest with you. But 
I got it working and I got the freaking light on. As you can see, it's still working just fine. So now maybe I can concentrate on other things, but uh, yeah, $164 for just the holster and the uh, RTI wheel, not, I think I said uh, circle in one the last video, but it's the RTI wheel, quick disconnect. $57 or $58 for the, the, uh, the rig itself. Um, without the light on here, I could have got the entire thing with a Blackhawk Serpa 3 with the, uh, the hood up here, the uh, locking mechanism you release with your trigger finger as well as the little uh, the tension tab at the bottom. This one doesn't have anything but this one retention device and of course the snugness of the holster. I got it going, I got it working. Um, going to replace these screws here, like I said in the last video with some Chicago screws. We haven't been to town yet because I've been fighting with this damn thing all day. It's just a shame that, you know, that the they see their product isn't working for their customer and can't, can't won't do something about that. All they were going to do is give me my money back. They got a disclaimer on their website saying it may or may not fit. The, there's no 100% guarantee. And so I guess even though Colt is the inventor of the 1911, they're the ones that got the military contract, the only military contract, for a production run of 1911s with the M45A1. These guys over in Jacksonville, North Carolina now, freaking home of the freaking US Marine Corps Camp Lejeune. Okay, so we're right next door to Marine Corps. The Marine Corps are the ones that use a Colt 1911 rail gun, the M45A1, and they don't, they won't make one that'll fit like that. That, that really made me ill, I'll be honest with you. I've got it working. How long it will last, I do not know. It's pretty. It seems to be pretty damn stout, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But anywho, this is Mac Daddy 1911A1. Giving a thumbs down on the G code for the simple fact that they did not. Um, they didn't want to do anything except take the damn product back. I need the freaking holster. I don't need my damn money back. Okay. So uh, good luck to you guys out there. I will tell you this though. If you're going to have a 1911 with a rail, I would recommend the Surefire G, uh, X300 because you can instantly go buy Safari Land. And there are several other brand makers out there who will uh, or who do make a holster that will fit the Surefire without a laser, an external laser. But uh, none of them, except this company here, make them for the TLR2. And as we've seen, it won't work. Not with a Colt. So good luck to you guys. Um, any questions or comments, please leave them. Like I said, it took me four or five hours. It was a pain in the ass. But hey, we are the Shade Tree Survivalists, and we'll make it work one way or the damn other. This is Mac Daddy 1911A1. On behalf of all of us here at the Shade Tree Survivalists, thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care and have a good day. Oh, and by the way, we uh, because of all the crap going on with YouTube, I've started a VidMe channel. Also, Mac Daddy 1911A1 and the Shade Tree Survival. So you guys go over there and check it out. I'll try to remember to put a link in this video and the previous video to the new VidMe channel. There is uh, new content on there that is exclusive to VidMe. I'm not going to just transfer videos from this over there to those. And uh, so don't forget, guys, go over and check it out. We appreciate you guys watching. And I hope some way, shape, or form is to save you guys some money because, like I said, $164 for the damn holster. And it may or may not work with your gun. Thank you very much for watching.